Hello everyone and welcome to Planet Coaster. It might be a bit surprising, we are back in this roller coaster game you all know and love. And we are going to build a special edition of a box coaster. Well, I'm going to explain this a little bit more at the later stage of this episode. Um, but before we are going to talk about this, uh, we are going to talk about the reason why I'm actually playing this game again and why this might be a bit, you know, a bit different than it was in the past. Now, this little project over here is mainly to give me a reason to, to come back to Planet Coaster. The big issue with Planet Coaster for me is at this point in time uh, to find the motivation to really go in and do some, you know, do some work in the game. Actually, I want to call it this way because it, it's feeling more work than it does um, before. Uh, and I'm going to explain quickly why. So mainly this uh, Giga Coaster, which is also in this park over here, has been built in, well, still in the time where there was only Planet Coaster available in terms of the Planet games. And I was really enjoying it. However, the Planet Zoo game uh, really allowed me to be as creative as in Planko, but still um, have the new engine and all the little treats and uh, nice little additions we have with the new engine, like weather and stuff like that. Now, Honestly, I love this game. I love building coasters. I, I love how much better I got in building coasters over the past, well, four years by now. Um, but the thing is, this Giga Coaster was almost done. Like, I even did already the station building and the rest that is just like, let's say, which was left open, um, is the queue design. And I honestly have to say that, you know, it felt a bit more like work rather than having really the drive to make the queue design. You know, it's not like that this is my sole game at the moment and, and coming back in and doing a queue design well, was not really what I wanted to do. Now, in terms of getting really back, because I really felt the urge to play this game again, um, I figured it might be cool to build a new coaster. And there was one idea left uh, on my very long list of ideas um, that I felt I could do in a very short amount of time uh, in comparison to all the other ideas. Like, let's say it would be the shortest, okay? Because definitely if you consider all the other ideas, they are all awesome, but they would take ages to build and hence they don't make any sense. Now, as Bo Merritt asked me uh, if we want to do a stream together and, you know, if you wanted to jump on, uh, we talked about if I want to play Planko again. I was like, yeah, definitely I want. And I was also looking for something new. So that was last week on Monday on my Twitch stream. Um, Bo was uh, visiting me in my stream and for those of you who for whatever reason don't know who Bo is, Bo is the lead community manager of um, Frontier um, in terms of all these wonderful planet games and all the Jurassic World Evolution and uh, you know we, we know each other already for four years um, since the very beginning of Planko so it, it's been a very lovely little stream talking about the past and talking about this game and also Planet Zoo and you know all the different things that you know kind of happened in the last couple of years. So really lovely and therefore I wanted to do something special and build something new, new. and I do know that Bo is most certainly also watching this episode because she wanted to see where this coaster ended up uh, being because obviously um, the, the stream was way longer than she could stay and um, I, I did allow her to have dinner then <laughs> just kidding here but, uh, but no it was actually fun um, to, to you know to do the stream in the end because uh, at some point we just moved into some old projects and had a look into old things uh, which was fun. Anyways, I think you guys really want to know what I'm doing here and this is going to be a project that is hopefully not taking longer than like three episodes I guess. Um, so next episode will be the focus of uh, doing the scenery and the last episode will be doing scenery and coaster in a good way. Now the idea is that this coaster is being in a box and as you can see the layout is not potentially super realistic. The layout is kind of cool but it's not really super realistic coaster but that's not the plan. Um, the plan is to have a kind of an in and out design um, where this coaster goes into the box and then whenever it goes into the box the environment changes. So let's say the first time it goes into the box it's kind of an arctic environment. The second time the coaster goes into the box it's going to be like a jungle. The third time it's going to be in the box it's for example space whatever and the, the first time it might be something else now it's up to you what this could be so please let me know in the comments down below what you think would be nice and please stick with kind of environments that could be done in the game either or where i can find some free footage of because you know as cool as it, as it might be to kind of make like a whatever indian market or something it would be quite hard to find suitable footage for building it because i will be doing this with the in-game billboards. Now that's gonna be very exciting. 
uh, because I do know that these things are um, you know quite tricky when it comes to them and uh, I really want to make sure that this is uh, also very cool and very nice in terms of um, you know the overall effect and I gotta say that um, this is going to be also something really cool when it really works out the way I imagine it to work but who knows if it's gonna be working out that way this is depending on how good the footage is now um, I maneuvered myself also doing that build into a bit of an um, well problematic uh, approach of in terms of the overall layout um, you will see this at the end there will be a, a full uh, POV included I really hope that you are going to enjoy this POV. As I said, the coaster is not perfectly smoothed out at this point in time. Um, there is uh, quite a lot I need to still do, but I just wanted to make sure that the overall layout is in place and we can build from there with the scenery and make the scenery really be nice and, you know, just enjoyable. Um, yeah, and also, obviously, this makes the coaster layout a bit more uh, kind of pushed into a certain direction so it's not really flowing as you would know it from different uh, coasters out there in like real life um, exem exemplaries I want to say um, but yeah it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be still a very enjoyable coaster I hope at the end and uh, yeah as well as um, the, the theming is also important to me that this is going to be made available to you guys so I'm really considering that I'm going to upload uh, this whole design at the end I, it might even be possible that i can do one blueprint out of it um i do know that i forgot that there is a limit about blueprints because in planet zoo uh, we can always use the trick of making it a habitat and then basically the amount of pieces you use is unlimited which in uh, planet because unfortunately it doesn't work so i still need to see if i can make this in 400 pieces however i think the the good thing about this is that you know I can do it because the billboards won't be taken too much space. I'm still also not entirely sure how I will do this with the billboards because I could do it with these 16 or even 32 meter um, sized uh, billboards. Um, that would potentially also make this whole thing very interesting um, because then you won't have too many interruptions in the in the video files. But yeah, I'm gonna see how this works. Uh, I also need to see if I do it with video or if I can do it with a static image. I am not really sure. I will have to do some testing. And as I said, this will be the second episode mainly um, that focuses on the build. And I'm yeah, I'm really curious to see how you guys like this. Um, I do know though that some parts of the coaster for the realism uh, lovers out there are quite painful to watch and also quite painful uh, to look at. Uh, I do know this, and um, I I want to really say and uh, say it again with some uh, with some force in it that I'm not aiming for the super realistic coaster here that is doing it. I am just trying to enjoy myself in Planet Coast at this point in time and I got to okay I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to try to explain how this is for me okay so planet coaster for me has a level of enjoyment and it's I learned over the last let's say 4 years how much I like building coasters now let's say that up to a level of like 85% of a perfect coaster I really enjoy the process of getting there these last 15% to make it as good as the game allows you to do it actually are more frustrating for me than enjoyable mainly because I know how much time and effort people out there spend to make these coasters really that great as they are and for me personally I know that this takes ages to do and the result for me personally I know that you guys out there the experts they see things I never even dream of seeing like little little coaster problems i don't know bends uh, bankings that are off which to me to be fair to, totally looks fine it, it kind of looks totally awesome i guess and i don't care okay so this is the this is the main reason so there is a level where i am happy with the coaster where i'm like yeah that's something i would ride in real life this is a lot of fun i can enjoy this and i gotta say that my 85 percent got a lot better so my 85 percent at the very beginning of planet coaster were rubbish and now it's a very good coaster if i get there and if i have the aim to get there sometimes for example on eastern apali with my big dipper coaster i think i even went to 90 95 percent 
but I'm not like I'm it's not like in 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 theory where I go the extra meter where I go to 99.999% and try to get the 100 still it's really like I want to reach a level where I'm happy with it and this is exactly the bar of planet coaster so I can really build that coaster to the 85% but then to still enjoy the game I need to go to scenery and make the experience nice that is my personal preference and I know that out there there are a lot of people who are 100% um, into uh, coasters and they don't really care too much about scenery they want this 100% utterly smooth incredible experience and that's totally fine and if that's the focus hey go for it because that is what you like and what you do um, but I don't and that, that is the major explanation why things happen to be the way they are um, but yeah as we are now Getting towards the end, uh, it is already a very, very, very tiny setup uh, for the next episode. So we are already trying to get in with the, uh, yeah, scenery items in, in, in fact, the doors because the coaster has to go in somewhere and out as well. And honestly, um, what I want to do here is put these doors already into the position. So I have a kind of feeling where I will need to put the, the walls later on. And you can see that I'm already doing the... Um, the timing like I'm, I'm really trying to get in with the perfect uh, timing to make sure that the triggers are hit uh, correctly and honestly I totally missed those triggers I missed the capability of making triggered events and oh god I love it I you know it's not like that I have an idea why I would need them in zoo but <laughs> it's just like I'm missing them okay so I, I would love to just have the ability to do some triggered events but I don't know it's just like for me they they are very important Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Now, I will include the uh, POV now at the end. And uh, I hope that I will be able to finish this project somewhere soon. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any, any hint when it is because there's so much zoo still running on the channel that I need to see when I find the time. But there is some um, uh, longer weekend ahead where I potentially have the time to finish it. And I'm going to root for that um, in, in order to make sure that this works. And uh, yeah, see you now in the POV.